everybody. Welcome to another Origami Wednesday. Today we are at New Year's Eve Eve and I told you last time we were going to have a dance party. I did not tell you that we were going to have dancing swan party. I think they look kind of like praying mantises so we're going to call them dancing praying mantis swans or mantis swans. Yep, and they go do 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 and they're really funny. And the first time I saw the video, I was like, oh yes, this is something we definitely need to do. So I have taped them. This is one thing you do have to tape them down because they don't want to stand up on their own, but that's okay. You're going to tape it down to do something, something probably more solid than this, but I think they're really funny. Taped to this right now because it makes them dance even extra. Okay. So I know the secret is out. Miss Carissa, kind of a dork. Nobody is shocked by this, I know. So, we're going to start. Here's the thing. This is almost exactly like making a swan. So if you know how to do that, you can easily do this. We will need scissors. Again, we are not in feudal Japan, Miss Carissa, so we don't have to worry about occasionally having to use scissors. I don't worry about using the tape as much, um, just because, well, it's, we're just taping them two things. All right. So we're gonna do a side to, or corner to corner, my favorite diagonal fold. Okay. Flip our little cup over and do the side to side. Making two rectangles fold, okay. And again, this is one of those videos where they showed I'm making a triangle and then flattening one side, and I'm like, no, that's way too hard. This is so much easier. And I still get the workable diamond, which is what we want. Okay. Put the open end toward yourself. Okay. And we're going to do the ice cream cone fold. So that side lines up with that middle line. This side lines up with the same middle line, okay. I'm gonna bring you down a little closer. So you'll have to bear with me for a moment while I adjust our angles, but it'll be easier to see in the long run. Okay, flip it and do the same thing on this side. So this edge, the open edge, goes to the middle seam open edge to the middle seam. So now we have an ice cream cone. Okay, I'm gonna fold the top point down. Okay, open up our ice cream and we're gonna turn it inside out. So pull up the solid and you're gonna recrease along those folds. This is actually one of my favorite. I love it when you can make the folds and make them and flip them around like that. So now we have a diamond. We from having a triangle to having an inside out diamond and I like that. Same on this side. So open up, flip out the middle. It goes all the way up to that crease. Turn your folds inside out on top. Keep your bottom folds the way they are. I know it sounds complicated, but I think it looks really cool. Okay, then the bottom where we're all divided, I'm gonna fold that guy, that edge into the center and fold this edge into the center. Now, if we were doing a swan, we would be almost finished, which is cool. Flip and do the same. Take that outside edge to the middle, lower outside edge to the middle. Now you'll see we have a diamond up here. We have a little triangle here, a little triangle here. Okay. Now for the next part, I'm actually going to close this guy and close this guy. So. Instead of being open at the bottom, now it's open at the top. So these guys are going to be the wings. I'm going to fold his 
face. That's eventually going to be his face. Okay, fold that in. I'm gonna fold this side to side to make his head. So then it's just a reverse that fold and he has a head, okay? This would normally be a tail, but because we want him to have legs, I'm gonna pull my scissors and cut right up the middle till I get up to the body. I'm gonna open him up and I kinda have to push down on his back a little bit. We want, him, we want his body to open up as much as possible. Pull his head forward if you want. And we're really gonna try. Sometimes you have to blow into the bottom there to get it to open up properly, but I'm gonna try. There we go. His body's not going to be as big and fat as if we were doing a normal swan. That's okay. We're gonna take his legs, fold his legs out first. Then we're gonna give him knees and a knee on this side and then we're going to give him little feet little feet and then you tape him wherever you want and he can do dance magic dance and he goes dee, 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 dee. yes hours of entertainment for me so he would be taped but I, the camera it just sees his back. So you see, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's a lot of fun, and if it doesn't make you giggle, you need to turn on your own music and make him dance to your own music, and then it gets funnier again, okay? We can't have dance party in real life for New Year's, so this year we're just going to have little mantis cranes for our New Year's Eve dance party. Everybody, it's been great seeing you this year. We'll see you next week, which is also next year, all right? Happy holidays. Stay safe. Bye.